Welcome everybody. On this painting exercise, I'm gonna do a study of John Everett Millay's Ophelia, which is one of my favorite paintings. Um, unfortunately, when I was at the Tate, I didn't end up seeing it. Uh, I think I was just overwhelmed, and I, I, I didn't, didn't even probably even realize it was even there. Um, but anyways, so I'm gonna try to get into this and, and, and try to get out of my own way with my method of normally the way that I work. So let's see what happens and um, see how truthful I can be to his work. One of the best places I've found for really, really great source, high quality uh, resolution images for uh, source material is artstandculture.google.com. They don't have everything, but they have tons and tons of paintings where you can really zoom in and see the brushwork of these artists. It's pretty amazing. So the first thing I do is I try to get a really high rendered sketch down. And then that's just me putting down a white piece of paper to you know rest my hand as I begin to work. I unfortunately didn't capture the very, very, very beginning of this video, or if I did, that somehow I lost it. So it kind of already gets into the face. Part reason why I want to uh, work on these is I really love his sketchy, uh, Malay sketchy kind of almost pastel looking work that he does on his skin tones and especially with the Ophelia painting that he does. Um, it has a very kind of liney sketch work when you really zoom into his work and kind of get in there and look at it. It was a bit of a struggle, it was a painting and a method in a kind of a little bit of a way that I wasn't used to working, you know, but that's the whole point of this process. Um, but it's very, very freeing at the same time. I'm also trying to be aware of not... trying to recreate every single brush mark the same way that he did, but yet... Uh, capture it in the same essence, I guess. Um, this is all brand new to me too. This is the, the this is only the second painting I've done, other than the John Singer Sargent of uh, Lady Macbeth. So here I'm getting the dress. That was kind of a bit of a struggle, I think. Um, I, I think it's a little wonky, uh, but I think I see essence is there for it learning a lot about doing doing these last two paintings of uh, uh, the different kind of palette work and, and just and just also working in somebody else's palette you know I guess they don't stray too far from the colors that I would use but they're definitely here to make me think differently this hand was a tough a tough go <laughs> I love painting hands but then painting them in somebody else's style was um, um, it was it, it was it was different. I found those flowers to get a little bit muddy when I was working on them. A lot of fun doing the background with the water and the, and the you know, surroundings around her. never read this play, this Shakespeare play of Hamlet. Uh, one of these days maybe I will. But, um, I find Shakespeare a pretty tough read for me. So this hand was a, little bit, a bit more of an easier go for me. Flowers were probably one of my favorite parts of painting in this painting. Other than her expression. There I am flipping the painting, getting a, a different way of working. And there it is. 